Our shopping cart controller will need to communicate some complex information to its views. It contains doesn't map these are models objects. Our shopping cart controller will need to communicate some complex information to its views, which doesn't map cleanly to our model objects. We don't want to modify our model to suit our views, as our model classes should represent our domain, not the user interface. One solution would be to pass information to our views using the view back class, as we did this with the store manager drop down information. But passing a lot of information via view back gets hard to manage. Now, solution to this is to add a view model banner, view model folder, which which represents a view model banner. When using this banner, we create a strongly typed class that are optimized for our specific view scenarios. So let's go ahead and in our here, let's add a new folder, and we will call it view models. Now we will add a shopping cart view model. Our, add our cart items to so public. And cart total. Now let's add a shopping cart remove view model. And let's add some properties to it. Message cart total, cart count, item count, and delete the ID. Next, we will add a shopping cart controller. Shopping cart controller will have three purposes. Adding items to our cart, removing items from our cart, and showing items in our cart. It would make use of these three classes that we have just created. The shopping cart remove mo view model and shopping cart view model and shopping cart classes. It would also have the store entities field. Now for our index method here, we uh, set up uh, the view for our view models, cart items, and cart total. And for our add to cart, we get the ID for the item. We add it to the database here. We redirect back to the index for the user to choose some other uh, item. For the remove from cart, we get the ID for the uh, item that he chose and remove it and get its name from uh, the database and then remove it based on its ID and show this message to confirm with the user uh, the uh, removing process and cart summary to show the user the uh, summary for the, his, the, his cart. Now we just built it and let's add a view for our index page for the shopping cart controller and let's choose from here a list model class to be shopping cart view model Let's click add. Now, as we have added the index page for our shopping cart view model, it uh, does four things. Removes uh, the deleted album from the list, updates the cart uh, count in the header, displays an updated message to the user, and updates the total price uh, in the cart. Now, in order to test this out, we need to be able to add items to our shopping cart we will update our store details uh, page. So let's go to our store page here. Yeah. And include an add to cart button. And also we'll add some additional information. We have, uh, we have added since the last update. Now we also added some additional information like category 
and producer enterprise uh, also as you can see we added the add to cart button to add. now let's say build all of this and go to our store index here and let's run our application now I almost forgot but you actually have to update the database from the package uh, manager console so go into the uh, uh, nugget nugget package manager and get the package manager console and in it uh, just uh, create just update a database and then run the application so uh, as i run range around the application um, and click electronics speaker as you can see here is your item and we have an add to cart button here we can click add to cart and as you can see we haven't yet uh, registered or logged in so now we can go back to our um, store and no store and add something like from furniture we don't have anything in furniture or just electronics so okay get into lamb and also add this to our cart so as you can see here we have uh, two uh, items a speaker and a lamp and it added both of them to the total of our in, uh, in our cart total and by now we have built a working shopping cart which allows unregistered users to add items to their cart in the following section, we will allow them to register and complete the checkout process. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned, and see you next section.